Hey everyone, welcome to Gaming Iguana. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition. Now, this game just started allowing people to release videos, and I also recently got accepted into the beta, so I figured what we would do is go through a little bit of a let's play, and basically just check out the game, see where it's at, have some fun, maybe do a few episodes. I'm not sure that I'll have any long-term plans for this series, but it's definitely worth checking out. So I've created a character and we're on one of the PvE servers that they have available um, because PvE, I don't know, I just think it's a better idea to start out, especially when I'm still a little bit unfamiliar with the, uh, the controls here. So it looks like if you press on the left side of the screen, you have kind of this little uh, compass mover, sort of like a dial. And then on the right side, you can kind of control the screen. Clearly down here in the right hand corner, I have this little hot bar that allows me to like switch between my tools. So here I have a compass and the map and you can see I've done a couple of spawns already to check out the game, but for the most part, um, the map is still largely undiscovered for me, even though this is the same map as the island, so I should be able to know where everything is based on playing the PC version of the game. Awesome. So we are going to run around here. I'm going to see if I can find some bushes to get us started. There is a spino there, which is a little terrifying, so let's not go over there. And you can see in the upper left-hand corner that, ooh, stone, that I also have, um, some recording going on. So I am using the in-game recording feature. It's a little bit easier to use, I find, um, than trying to use like external applications to record the game. So I'm actually recording audio at the same time that I'm playing. This is not like an add-in afterwards. Um, I'm just kind of editing the audio track onto the game, just to kind of show you what's going on with how I'm playing this. Excellent. It is a little funky and clunky right now still. You have to like double tap to collect things um, on the right hand side, which can be a little bit hard if you're not angled quite the right way on these bushes. And then if you swipe up on the left hand side, it does allow you to jump. So the controls aren't bad. Um, you kind of have to play with them a little bit to get used to them, which I've obviously already done some of, but for the most part, most aspects of this game are still really new to me. Um, it does seem to be pretty much like normal arc, except that um, obviously movement is different. There are some funky things going on. Inventory you can access in the upper left-hand corner. And so this is basically your, your inventory and your character screen, your equipped items. You've got your Ingrams here your options here, and uh, in case anyone's curious, I am playing on the epic graphics quality because I can, and who wouldn't want to play epic graphics? Awesome, so we have a point. I'm gonna level up health just to see. All right, so we gain 30 points of health. That's very different from PC arc, um, because in normal arc, you just get 10 points per level. So apparently health is going to be a big thing. Some ruins. I wonder if they included... All right. So they still have not included any of the explorer notes or anything like that, which I didn't really expect them to have done that yet. Obviously, this is still beta version of the game. But um, that may be incoming at some point. I don't know. Hopefully, because it's a cool thing. I like seeing the Ingrams and the... Um, what are they called? The creature dossiers. I like seeing the dossiers. All right, let's see. Can we make anything yet? Uh, inventory crafting. No. What do we need? All right, we need wood and thatch, so we need to go punch some trees. You tap and hold something to drag it around. All right. Cool. So I'm going to punch this tree. Awesome, a Kapok tree. So that's kind of cool that things in this version of Ark actually have names, um, which they don't in normal Ark, and you can kind of click on that name and it'll expand to show you what you can get from it. All right, 
Do we have enough now? No. We still need more thatch. Awesome. Let's go up to this tree. Come on. There we go. Yeah, so it's a little bit clunky still with the movement. I'm getting used to it. I'm sure it'll be... It's actually pretty smooth compared to most mobile games I've played, so um, I have a feeling that once it's like fully optimized and out of the beta, it's going to be really nice. And hopefully they will include some sort of tutorial for people who don't really know how to play these kinds of games. Um, but again, we'll see. Cool. Alright, so now we can make ourselves a pick. Which we're going to do. Excellent. And we're going to drag that to our hotbar. Awesome. Wait. Did I see that? Hold on. We have a carrot. Well, that's kind of different that you can get a carrot um, without actually planting any crops. Interesting. And it seems to thrive near mammals and not dinosaurs, so it's found in the mountains. Okay. Not really sure what that means, but okay. Other than that, we can find it, I guess, near mountains? Perhaps. Cool. Okay, so I have here my little, um, on the right-hand side, the lower right-hand corner, I do have this little um, flow menu, which basically allows me to use any of the items on my hotbar. But they have other options for how you can use that. So if you go to controls in your options menu, this hotbar layout, this top one, you can click on that. You can see me clicking it. Um, so the flow allows you to basically swipe on the right hand side of your screen to change things. But, um, and that's the default, but I didn't really like the way that that worked. So I'm just going with the on-screen menu because it's a little bit easier for me to like pick what I want to use and then I don't waste time uh, flowing through a bunch of tools that I don't actually need. We're gonna gather up some thatch here thatch and wood. And we're probably going to hit this rock too because we need some flint. Yep. Excellent. All the flint. Boy, this is a big rock. There we go. Alright, so now we're going to level up again. Um, this time I think I'm going to level movement speed and we do need to eat it looks like so as you can see on the bottom part of the screen there is a little bit of a, a hood menu for you um, but there's no food or water on it so what we have to do is really just eat these berries um, and then kind of trust that we're actually filling up our food. Yeah. So right now in the game, there's no way to track how much food or water you have on the screen, which I think is a little bit frustrating. I think they have room for those two icons down there, and I would really like to see that in the full release of the game. Um, hopefully they add that in, because right now I think, I think that's something that's really missing. Um, it's kind of a pain to always have to check your inventory and make sure that you have enough food and water. All right, but for now, we're gonna go to our Ingrams. So we've leveled up. Um, let's make some pants and a hatchet. Excellent. Crafting, let's make those pants first, and then our hatchet. Cool. So overall, this is actually pretty intuitive. It's not too hard to figure out where things are and where they should go. I'm going to drag this to my hotbar. Excellent. And then I just double tapped on the pants there, and that's all you had to do. It just goes to your character screen and clicks on that. So if you click on the actual pants, it will show you a list of items that you have available to equip, um, which is pretty easy. You can just unequip, tap on legs, and equip. So you could do this from either your character screen or your inventory. Cool. So, so far this is actually really fun. I'm enjoying this. I'm super excited that I can now take Ark with me. Um, I'm not tied to my computer anymore, which makes me 
really happy. Um, obviously, this is a very different style of gameplay than the computer game, and I'm not going to stop playing the computer game anytime soon. I think it's um, a beautiful game. It's one of my favorite games that I've ever played, so I'm not exactly going to give that up for a mobile version, but the mobile version I still will play, I think, especially if it stays at least this good. Man, they've done some really good work here. Oh, a Lystro. Cool. Feed Mejoberry to tame. Well, we don't have a Mejoberry, but maybe... Nope. What am I... How do I do this? Maybe I just... Ah! Okay. So all you did there... All I had to do there was um, walk up to it and click on the actual berry on my hotbar. And that was all it did. Excellent. So maybe I'm going to go to my inventory here and drag my mejo berries down there and then put those where I can eat them. Excellent. This is a little bit of a slower tame than I'm used to because obviously this is an official server. So I don't have the... Um, highly increased rates that I have on my solo PC games that I also play. Cool. I like the little berry symbol too. It kind of lets you know what berries you're using and uh... oh man. It's just neat. I really like the visuals of this game. They're pretty beautiful. Although I do keep accidentally punching things which is a little frustrating. Let's gather some more berries. Oh he's hungry. That's really cool. So a little food symbol pops up above his head when he's hungry, which is really handy. Um, I think that's super useful to like, you can kind of wander around and do some other stuff and know when he's hungry if you can just keep an eye on him in the distance. That's a cool mechanic. I'll go pick this bush. There we go. Nice, so he's hungry. Pick the measure berry on the hot bar, and we've got him. So I think we're going to have a little bit of a Lystro buddy to hang around with. It's a female. Level 8. Hmm. So that's a pretty low level. I wonder, I'm not sure what the level cap is on this game yet. Um, I actually know very little about the mobile version of this game. I've only watched like one or two of the how-to videos that um, Wardrum Studio has released because I really wanted to learn how to play this game kind of naturally. So most of this is just me playing around, figuring stuff out. Um, just fair warning for anyone who thought they were going to get a tutorial. You, you're probably going to just have to put up with me derping around a little bit until I can figure out the gameplay. But it's going to be fun. I hope. This is taking a long time. Maybe we can go break a tree or something. Let's get some wood. I figure maybe if we can get a little bit of a hut started today, I will be pretty satisfied with our progress so far. There we go. Nope. Feed. Alright, so apparently you have to be highlighting him in order to be able to feed him. It's a little tricky. Alright, what stat do we want to level up? Um, it's a little weight. Oh, that's a big increase too. Okay. Hello, trike. Can't tell if that's the old, older model of the trike. I don't think so. It looks really cool. I like the colors on this guy. The colors look really good on this dino. Alright, go feed this guy again. We are going to tame this. We are going to have a Lystro by the end of this episode as well. Um... Actually, let's see if we can learn, we can. Let's learn the foundations. And I left the menu too soon. Okay, crafting, let's make a thatch foundation. So we're gonna make a very, very basic hut just to get started. Wonder, oh cool, okay. So we can place this. Let's, uh, where do we want to build? 
So this is just a starter hut. I don't plan to keep it forever. We will probably abandon this at some point. So let's just place it there. Oh, and you can rotate it. That's neat. Let's put it at an angle. Nice. All right. So we have our foundation. Oop. So if you double click on your controller button on the left hand side, it does let you um, sprint. So again, it's a little bit, I don't know how much I like it. Um, it's a little bit difficult, at least right now. I'm just not used to the mechanic. Stop punching. More berries, because I keep accidentally eating my mejo berries, which is not great. There we go. I have another level already? Wow. So I'm gaining levels really fast. And actually, it looks like we're also gaining some minor stat points in other, yeah, in other categories as well. So even though we leveled health, our stamina increased just a little bit. So that's kind of cool that um, you'll still do better in all stats, even though that's not the primary stat that you're increasing. There we go. 66%. We'll get there. I can tell taming is going to be kind of a thing on this game. Um, as far as time goes, it's going to be much more um, vanilla leveled, although not as bad as PC. Um, it probably still will take quite a bit of time to do, unfortunately. But that's okay. I'm fine with it. I also got to see if I can disable that chat in the lower left hand corner because that will bother me. There we go. Alright, go get some more thatch from these trees. And it looks like they actually have beacon drops here too, which I am not going to try to go for too soon. Oh, and it is getting dark, so maybe what we'll also do is make ourselves a torch just in case because I'd really rather not stop the video just yet but I have a feeling that when it's gonna get dark you guys aren't gonna be able to see very well so I wanna be considerate of that alright now we have a torch available come on look at it feed it there we go Excellent. Cool, so we are getting pretty close, 82%. All right. So I'm gonna see what else we can make here. We leveled up, so let's make ourselves a wall, um, the roof, the door, and that door, okay. Awesome, so we need three of these one more. There we go. One of these, one of these, and one of these. So we are literally making the smallest hut possible, but we have just enough thatch to do it. Oh no. There he is. Gotta keep track of my Lystro buddy. Nope. Come here. Come here. Click. There we go. It is a little bit difficult to hit the buttons the right way, but not too bad. Okay, so I'm going to go over here and place down our items. Inventory. Walls. So I want to place a wall there. And actually, I think that's placing the right way. Yep. Uh, there we go. So this says the building's actually not too bad. I was worried it was going to be really hard on this game, but I actually am not having too much trouble with it, just the way that it is. Put our door in there. Nice. So that was easy. You just go up and click on it. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go feed the Lystra real quick because I don't want to lose the tame. Okay. 
feed him. There we go. Nope, I ate that. There. 88%. We will get him. We will. Alright, so now I'm going to walk up and place the ceiling. Perfect. Cool. So now we have our tiny, tiny little thatch hut to live in. I think that's a good start for a mobile game where I don't know what I'm doing. All right, and we're gonna have a Lystra buddy too by the end of this, so not too bad. We might need more berries though, so go up here, double tap, start gathering. So it's a double tap and a hold that allows you to gather. Just kind of a interesting way. I'm getting the hang of it, I think, though. I also want the stone. There we go. One more berry, maybe two. I like that it shows you what you can gather from them, from the plants and things as well. That's kind of a neat feature. Um, and you can collapse that, so it's just the name of the plant. Or you can expand it so you can kind of see more information about what you're gathering, which is kind of handy. I like seeing the information. So I think I'm going to leave that feature on. Gather that. Nice! All right. So we have ourselves a little bit of a Lystro. And she is perfect. So let's see. All right, so I clicked on the little dinosaur skull head to just kind of look at this. This is a neat menu. Okay. So following distance, target range, and aggression. You just click and it cycles through. I'm going to put it on passive. Um, I'm going to put it on ignore group whistles because I don't want it to hurt anything. And I'm going to leave it on medium follow distance for now. Whoop. All right. Now I clicked on its inventory. Okay. So it has a creature implant, which is interesting. So from what very little I know, you can take these creature implants to an obelisk and basically revive your creatures that way. I'm gonna have it hold the narco berries too because I don't want to lose the narco berries. I wonder if that extends the spoil timer. I'm not sure. I have no idea. I think so, probably. Alright. Come here. You're very cute. Cool. So that time I just clicked on the Lystro and held it. Alright, so there's its stats. I'm going to level up health on this one because I want it to live. Those are my Ingrams so I can learn things. I'm going to learn how to make a shirt too. And a campfire. So we can cook some things and a spear. Because spears are useful. Get some hide and things. Alright. Available pursuits. So in this left-hand corner, I'm assuming this is where some quests are gonna go. I wanna, I kind of wanna rename this. All right, so that's how we're gonna rename it. So, all right, I'm gonna let this one not be named for now. Come with me, and I'm going to let you guys choose a name for our new little Lystra friend. Wonder if I can get it in here. This may be too big of a step. We may just have to, like, hide it. Yep, he's not going to be able to follow me in there. Perhaps. Lowest. All right. Here we go. Come on in. Yes! Okay. So our Lystro is inside and safe with us. You can see it there. It's our buddy. It's going to be our friend. Uh, it may be a little difficult to get out of this hut now, but that's okay. I'm going to level up its health again. Boy, it gains experience fast. The experience gain does seem to be quite a bit boosted on this mobile version, which um, does not really surprise me at all. 
I'm going to look at my inventory. Um, what am I going to level up? Uh, let's level up health again. Get that up to around 200. Oh, so the first level is 30. The second level is about 30. And the third one is about 10. That's interesting. So it's scaled. So your first level into a point gives you a big boost. And then after that, you get less and less um, increase per level, I think is what's happening. That's interesting. I'm not sure how I feel about that just yet. Oh, okay. So that's for tribe work. All right. All right, so I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit that like button and let me know if you want to see more like this on the channel. Uh, like, subscribe. I do intend to do at least a few more episodes of this game because I'm having fun and it's new and it's good. It's a new version of ARK and I'm really enjoying it. All right, so... Yeah. All right. So I will see you guys later. Signing off. This is the Iguana.